What we find now in the mobile internet today is the user experience is highly unpredictable. How do we make the network smarter or more intelligent with technologies and capabilities and toolkits that we can provide in the network so the user experience can be enhanced, the operators can make money in the process, as well as the internet companies. If you think about intelligence for a moment, what are we really talking about when we use the word smart or when we use the word intelligent? The way I tend to describe it is there are four aspects of intelligence. The first one is what we call visibility. In order to do anything in the network, operators need to have visibility to what the subscribers are doing, what applications are being used, where the hotspots are in the network, who's causing the hotspots, hot spots, what applications. So they need visibility. So the next step obviously is once you have the knowledge or the visibility, how do they use it to manage the network better? So the next aspect is what I call control. So once you have visibility, the second thing is, how do I control the network? How do I prioritize traffic? How do I block certain traffic that may be damaging to the network or to the device, like security attacks and so on? So how do I control variety of traffic flows in the network? Once you have visibility and control, what is the third thing that you want to give the operators? With these two things, they can now optimize. And what do I mean by optimize? There are two aspects of optimization. One is obviously the capacity and the usage of the resources that they have put in the network. You need to optimize that so they are used most efficiently. More importantly, or equally importantly, there's another aspect which is how do you deliver or how do you optimize the quality of experience for an end user? Now let me talk about the fourth aspect of intelligence in the network which we call monetization. In other words, you need to have enough intelligence in the network to allow an operator to be able to make money on these applications and services that are being delivered on the network. How can I target specific ads to a user that will allow them, that are based on their interest profiles and what they really, their habits and so on and so forth. So one intelligence is what we call analytics, subscriber analytics. What that means is, through a device in the network, you can now, man, you can now monitor the transactions that a that an end user is making to the internet and be able to classify and categorize those transactions in popular categories. So let's take a look at the whole picture now. So if an operator has a these four degrees of intelligence, let's say the visibility, the control, the optimization capabilities, and the monetization capabilities. So collectively, we call this the smart mobile internet because you have these four layers of intelligence. So you have really, in this kind of a setup where you have smart devices, smartphones and tablets, powerful applications, and a smart mobile internet that is connecting the two through this kind of intelligence, you have a win-win-win for the end user, the network operator, as well as the internet application provider. So at the end of the day, what we believe is the smart mobile internet is the answer to growing this ecosystem profitably across the end users, network operators, and application providers at the same time.